Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to precisely set your pivot point. So what I'm in right now is I'm in a blank project right now, but I want to just go into a different template. So our map. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for minimum default and it's this one. And I notice I get a little error there on the materials it looks like. So I just fix those. And then this, remember this one? <laughs> This one doesn't come up by default anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete these chairs and this statue and this table. And I believe it's the, one of these floors has gotta go. So let me see. I'm not sure which one, this one. So, so we're just left with this floor. And then I'm just gonna go in here real fast. This is a preference of mine. And I'm just gonna set orbit to around object. Okay, so if I click on this, I hold Alt, I can and click on the item, I can go around it. But you can see where our pivot point is in the corner, and I don't want it there. So the one thing I wanted to draw your attention to, just real simple, is the difference between world and local location. Because if I hit the space bar and I just tilt this like that, and then I go back to this tool here, you notice how it's pointing straight up? It's because it's on the world coordinates. And you can think of the world coordinates as a giant right angle 3D structure, like a skyscraper frame. And so it's locking on to those coordinates. If I come up here and I click that icon, now it's on the local coordinates. So that's the difference between world and local. So world, just think of it as a giant three-dimensional grid that goes up into the sky and you're locked on to those coordinates. And here, it's just the same kind of the 3D structure on the object itself versus the 3D structure of the world. So that helped me to understand it. But anyway, I'll go ahead and come back here. Now, the first thing I'd suggest doing is just zeroing out your coordinates and then hit F and just get everything zeroed out. You got Alt again, so you can take a little bit better look at this. I found this to be wonky as hell, <laughs> this pivot reset. So this is how I figured it out. And basically, I think it's the most precise ways to do it numerically. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here on the right details panel of the object, and you can search for something called offset. And it brings us down here to advanced and it's right here pivot offset you see it how it's all zeroed out right here so it just results in you having to figure out the center of this geometry that you're dealing with so what I'm going to do is I happen to know that the center of this object is going to be 200 200 and I know I need to be at negative 10 and I know that's the numeric center of this object so if I click on the object, you see how the gizmo went right to the center of the object? And if you're trying to figure out what the center is, you can play with these values and it should move as you click around. So, but anyway, let me reset this back to 200. Click on the item. It sets it at that position. Then all you have to do is right click, go down to pivot, and go set as pivot offset. And then it should, at least while you're in this game, stay at that location. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you want it on a different, like the corner, then you have to finagle to figure out exactly what those value points are. But this is the best way to use this numerically. And that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.